Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Card here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K22 video. Today, we're going to be going over legend rewards. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Bruh, all we get is a parrot. Why are you making this video? I'm making this video because I want to see 2K actually get better. I want to see 2K actually be a good game. And I got a couple ideas and I know that you guys got a couple ideas too. So feel free to go crazy in the comment section on what you think 2K should do because most likely this video, the comment section, all of it will probably end up on some dark, deep Reddit thread about why 2K isn't doing their job or why 2K should be this way or look at this content creator talk bad about 2K or look at this content creator giving 2K great ideas. Who knows? King Kong, King Kong, King Kong. I know that you guys already know what you get as a legend reward, right? You get a parrot and you only get one variation of that parrot. You have to choose a color. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking. When 2K going to put these parrot colors in the store? Because you know they want to monetize that, right? I mean, attention all legends, attention all legends. We got different color parrots on the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still, I'm still a little hurt. I'm, I'm, you know, I still have a wound, you know, it's, it's starting to close a little bit. You know what I mean? Even though I hit legend like three or four days after the season four started because of Puma mania, it still, it still hurts a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I haven't played 2k since that day. Like the day I hit legend was the day I shoved 2k 22. So I'm kind of like all over the place right now, but I promise you, I have some great ideas for y'all right now. And the first idea on this list, why don't all legends get to unlock all perks across the board? Now I know what you guys are thinking. Wait a minute, man. You gotta get your perks the hard way. You gotta do the Mountain Dew challenge. You gotta do all this challenge and Adidas challenge and that challenge and this challenge. Listen, why can't hitting legend bypass all of that? I mean, it's February. You know what I mean? If people wanted to get all perks for every single build, you know how many challenges this one person has to do if they have four or more builds? Not only is it time consuming, but it's pure insanity to grind something for a certain build when you know for sure that you can just grind and get an outfit and use that same outfit on all your builds. Now, of course, we know that 2K's reward system is a little broken, but I feel like a legend should bypass all of that. If they want the saboteur or whatever the case may be, whatever de um, de-escalating type perks that you would have to get from these challenges, go ahead and give them to them. Yeah, we know Chris Brickley, he offers, a, offers some, but why can't a legend get all the, the other perks? Let's do this. Let's switch a little, little bit. If you telling me that all legends can't unlock all perks, why can't a legend get a double perk takeover? Why not? Why not have a legend be able to have two perks because they're a legend, because they earned it. Give us something more gameplay wise than just the parrot, which is more cosmetic. Now, of course, 2K has always done this. 2K has had a certain cosmetic and gameplay balance when it came to the legend reward. But this year, Gameplay and, and cosmetic is nowhere near each other this year. It's heavy on cosmetic, zero on gameplay. So for me, I believe that the perk system was an amazing idea that 2K brought to the game this year because of course, different people use different things. If they wanna be the, the crazy lock, they'll get the saboteur and all of that. But most people, they use accelerator. We already know that. Me, I'm more of a juice person. I love when I hit takeover that my player is able to do more things with a higher attribute than say anybody else. But just think about it, man. Dual takeovers, dual perks for legends. It's a pretty good idea, right? Number three on my list. Now this one hit home because it's, it's the easiest thing you can do give every single bill that a legend has the gym rat badge. Let us not have to work out 50 times and earn three stars. Let us not have to win a championship with each build we have. 
give all legends the gym rat badge on every single bill. Simple, right? I'm bringing back an oldie but goodie. How about giving us the plus 10 badge points to each badge tier, finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense? Why not give us the 10 badge points that we would love to use? Because of course, a lot of builds need them because maybe a build went heavy in playmaking and um, shooting and they need a little bit of finishing to get one of their little badges put on for finishing and to help out with their defense. Or what if there's a defensive big, like a versatile paint beast that went heavy on defensive and shooting and lacks a little bit of playmaking and lacks a little bit of finishing and needs help there. I mean, it's an oldie but goodie because we know that it's dope. And as far as a gameplay boost goes, that that will not only make everybody keep playing a game and grind for it, but think about it like this. What if even after season four, which season five and on, you still give legends something to ground for, which is more attribute points. What if in your season rewards, when you hit legend, you don't get plus one attribute point at level 39. What if you say, okay, let's spread out those 10 to maybe 12 even badge points throughout the next couple seasons. When you're legend, maybe season five, you get plus two. Maybe season six, you get plus three. Maybe season seven, you get plus two again. Maybe season eight, you get plus four and, and, and so on so that legends have something to grind for. Now this one, I can't lie to you guys. This is something never thought of. This is something that can make a lot of builds OP, but in all honesty, why not see it? Because think about it, ratings can only go to 99. So what if you can give every legend and all their builds plus four in each attribute category that have above 25. So that means if any attribute they never touched, they don't get plus four in that. That means that that attribute will always stay 25, but every other attribute will go up. Now, this is the thing, this is the drawback. I don't wanna make it too OP, which means I don't wanna say once you put up this certain attribute, now a badge unlocks. I just want them to be more attribute points on top of whatever they got simply for gameplay balance, because I know I already, I already know what people are going to do. They're going to say, Oh, hall of fame blinders. Definitely. I'm going to go ahead and put my, uh, three pointer at 95, put, uh, attributes elsewhere. I'm a legend. I'm gonna create a new build. This build going to be cheese. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of videos on how to get hall of fame blinders without having the 99 three point shot. No. I just want people to have the attribute points because like I said, I want there to be gameplay, but I want it to be balanced so that people can say, oh, I actually got something when I hit legend. Let's talk money for a second. Let's talk about money. Why not give every legend 500,000 VC? Simply, as soon as you hit legend, they, re they recognize you hit legend. It may be a day or two goes by once your account is fully, you know what I mean, legend, and they know you got all the rewards and stuff like that. They put it inside their little cloud and they just simply give you 500,000 VC to do whatever you want with it. Not, oh, you only get to spend it here on this or you only get to do that. Maybe people want to make a brand new build. Maybe people want to buy all this swag inside the shops. Maybe people want to just say, oh, you know what? I'm going to save that because I know that there might be mascots coming soon and I want to save my breach. Or people might say, hey, you know what? Any up is next week. I am saying I got the squad with me and I got some VC to burn because we all legends. It's a bunch of different options that you can have. Just give people the option. 2K, I know that this is probably not the hardest thing to do. You could probably do this in NBA 2K22 right now. Why not give people the option to turn the legend banner on and off or to even manipulate the legend banner? For instance, I would love to have my legend logo, you know what I'm saying, with my park affiliation, but maybe I don't want that border. Maybe I don't want the, the little glow, the legend glow border. Maybe I want something different. Why not give us the option to have every banner we've ever gotten, which means all the like, the, the pulsing, the stars, everything building up to level 40, everything building up to each season, give us every 
outline of each banner and then we choose what we want to do with that maybe we want to have stars and sprinkles around our banner with the legend logo different color different affiliation maybe we want options maybe we want options you know what i mean if it's as far as cosmetics go maybe people want their banners to look distinctively different from every other level 40 in the park maybe they want them to look different from every other legend in the park so this one is going to take a little bit of development and i know that this is a huge idea i know that this is something that a lot of people probably would want because it actually makes sense why not give us a pets option with inside clothing now let me tell you what this would do pets aren't equipment and pets aren't clothing i understand that but you don't have a menu within my player that says pets because essentially that's what they are we have went out and got wild animals and tamed them to be domestic so they're pets so why not developing a menu that says pets either under clothing or pets as its own thing so that we can do certain things like equip a tiger or equip a parrot and hop on our hoverboards i'm sorry other people that don't have hoverboards i do but equip any item of equipment to ride around have our parrot fly after us or our tiger running after us because think about it like this you have a backpack right every backpack that's in the game it has an option to put a skateboard on that said backpack also when 2k developed a new mode with jackson ellis with the the city slam they actually made a tier that said belt that makes complete sense you know what i mean i feel like that makes a lot of sense so why not give us those options within the next iteration of development for nba 2k23 or if you have time because i know you guys are working on a brand new game if you have time and you can spare some resources put it inside nba 2k22 so we can reap the rewards the rewards now these things are super cosmetic i'm going to actually put all three of them together give us more things cosmetically when you hit legend for instance i have here on this sheet for the legend banner show what season you hit legend so maybe it could say season four, season five, season six, whatever the case may be, show when that person hit legend on their banner so they could say, oh, I'm more OG than you or whatever the case may be. Because in other video games, if somebody's like, let's say Apex, if you're an Apex Predator, you know what season you hit Apex Predator and when you got your badge. And you can say, man, I did this as an OG. I know when I got my 20 bomb, I hit it in this season. I know this and I know that. They have all of these indications why not give that to us also for legends why not have show off animations like intros and outros and things of that nature for legends why not say okay we got this amazing pack full of animations just for legends and legends can be the only ones to use them so if you never hit legend you never can get this show off animation you can't buy it you cannot buy it only legends can get it and it's for free as a package when you hit legend. I feel like that's dope. Next thing, where's our legend indicator? Where's that thing under us when we playing basketball? Because think about it, 2K, you actually put in custom player indicators this year. So where is the legend indicator? Now, I'm not gonna say that you guys forgot about it, I just feel like maybe you should go back and check some of those old resources real quick. Go ahead and slide it into the code and say, hey, hey, yo, hold on. Oh, legend indicator. <laughs> Boom. It just magically appeared one day. I know what you guys are about to say about this one. You're about to say iPod boy. If you tell us about one more thing that 2K done had in a game, and to bring it back, I'm going to slap you. Listen, all I can say is 2K has had some great ideas in the past. And all they have to do is stand on their own too and say, these are the things that we're going to keep because they work. They get the community going. 
but let's talk about the legend with spin wheel like let's just talk about that for a minute daily spins for legends only because think about it yeah gatorade skill boost all of that stuff it hurts you know what i mean we have to buy that stuff all the time why not as legends you give us the chance to get this the will spin for the unlimited gatorade and the unlimited skill boost and and be transparent about the the percentage and the likeliness of you actually winning it so that people can log on every single day i know you want to keep them login numbers up i know you want to keep them hours played up make them log in to for that chance of oh maybe i can get that unlimited today you know what I'm saying? Let, hold on. Let's keep it. Let's keep it spinning. You know what I'm saying? They're going to spin and they're going to spin and they're going to spin. You know what I'm saying? That's that's literally an option to get people to come on daily. They got to check to see if they're going to get this unlimited Gatorade, see if they're going to get this unlimited skill boost. Because guess what? Being able to get that, you're going to get that for all of your builds because you're a legend. Remember, give them these things for every single build they have. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to play with the same build all the time. Some people are forced into doing that, but people really don't want to do that all the time. They people people want to actually just play basketball with different positions. Nobody wants to be LeBron every single day. Nobody wants to be John Morant every single day. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to be Giannis every single day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, give them options. All right, now, this the one. I ain't going to lie. This is the one. Give us legend mascots legend mascots okay think about it like this you and the knights right you know what i'm saying as soon as you hit legend you a knight you you would have hit the store seen this legend 2k would have gave you 500 kvc for hitting legend the the mascot probably would have cost you 100k or something like that and you would have had a legend knight mascot which means you can play in a knight outfit with the knight uniform that they use on affiliation day or whatever design they want to build up and you playing as a knight as a mascot or you say shit i was only on the knights because of such and such, such and such i really wanted to go to beast of the east okay now you're a big red furry animal you know what i'm saying going crazy in the, the beast of the east outfit that they use for you know what i'm saying the little affiliation uh war joint or you can say you know what <laughs> it's a little slithery over here you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and they put this 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 snake outfit on. You got the little, you know what I'm saying, little snake snout and all that. You know what I'm saying? With the with the Vipers whole affiliation joint on and be rocking. Or last but not least, you can say, oh, it's Wildcat Tom. I've really been one, I've been really trying to rock this for real. And also, 2K, we know that changing affiliations in the first week, you can do it as many times as the new season starts. It really doesn't do anything. If you would have gave every legend a mascot for their affiliation, say, yo, you know, you get the affiliation mascot when you hit it and other mascots are available when you change other affiliations and they may be 100K and people spent $300, 500K that you gave them on mascots and they can run around the park. It'll be a mascot fest. People will actually be on a game playing as something different and, and getting that vibe, getting that vibe. That, that's the biggest thing for us as gamers. We want to vibe. We want a different experience and we want something new to look at. We love that you guys changed the way that the parts look. But man, if you would have gave mascots to legends, we seen you do it with skeletons. So we know it's possible. If you would have gave legend mascots for each affiliation. Dude, would have been crazy. Would have been crazy, absolutely crazy. Make the Legends experience in a store much better. Why not give them 25% off on everything? We already know you want to make your bread. We understand that. It's the way that the world works. But as a legend, imagine saying, yo, when I create this new build, I got to buy all these new animations all over. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to keep my clothes and my sneakers, thank goodness. But it's going to cost me like, such and such amount of VC to get all this stuff. But when they come to the store or even, you know, being transparent with the with the people, you tell them, hey, Legends get 25% off in store, except for new exclusive drops, which you guys do on a weekly basis. But everything else, 25% off. That's dope. That's that's literally dope. You show you you're showing 
a part of the community, people who like to grind, people who like to play the game for long, drawn out hours, you're telling them like, yo, we know that it takes a certain amount of VC to get these builds up and stuff like that. And we want to reward you for being on our game, being some of the type of people to play our game for so long that we're going to give you 25% off in stores for your animations, for your headbands, for your regular clothes and stuff like that. I feel like that's dope. Now, I know that this video was pretty lengthy and I want to thank everybody for, for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you liked my ideas, please definitely hit the like button. I know that I haven't been uploading as much content as I used to, and it's been going on for probably about three, four years now. Um, that's mainly because I'm more of a streamer now. Um, not only do I, f I stream on Facebook gaming five days a week, but I'm also streaming on Twitch. So if you guys could follow me on Facebook gaming, follow me on Twitch and Check out some of the streams. You know, I always got the Cell Squad with me. Um, I've been playing a lot of different games lately and been having fun with that. Um, just like, you know, I just, I picked up a four-year-old game. You know what I mean? Chase Money told me, yo, you're going to play this Horizon. And I've been enjoying every moment of it. Also, the Apex season starts today. So I'll be streaming that on Facebook Gaming as well. But I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Oh, and to all my legends out there, like I said, I know you're paying. I'm going to have to play 2K in like, what, 18 days? That's when the new season start because I'm going to be hitting level 40 each season because that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to getting every reward from each season because I'm a gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. You better be iPod, you better be shake. Run with Jay-Z and Bruce or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got right away. One thing. You can't step foot in my park. You better be iPod, you better be shake. Run with Jay-Z and Bruce or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got right away.